Good morning and welcome, sorry, good evening and welcome to War Thunder's website. We've got a new dev blog today for the a much awaited uh, item here. Dozer 15 will be delighted and he can start asking for the Mirage 3E instead. That is right, the Mirage 3C will be coming in patch 1.99. The 3C was uh, produced for the French Air Force. Uh, in It was first flew in October 1960, and a total of 95 were procured for the French Air Force with the first operational deliveries in July of 1961. It did remain in service until 1988 with the French Air Force. This is the, the first major production model of it, and it was largely similar to the earlier models, but it was a little shorter and was fully operational, operationally outfitted. This is a single seat interceptor with the Atar 09B turbojet injuring, yeah, correction, turbojet engine. And it's armed with two 30 millimeter DEFA cannons in the belly underneath the, uh, the air intakes. The early Mirage 3C had three pylons. This one has five. The outboard pylon was, was added to each wing for a total of five. And this should be really a, an interesting aircraft for the French uh, fans out there. The outboard pylon was intended to carry AIM-9B sidewinders. And those were later replaced by the Matra R550 Magic. And they also could carry the Matra R530 missile, which is a radar-guided missile on the center pylon. In War Thunder, the Mirage 3C will be the top tier French aircraft. That should be really, uh, uh, should be uh, competitive from all the indications. It is Mach 2 capable. And I believe it was actually the first European aircraft to actually uh, achieve Mach 2, the Mirage series. And I believe that was in 1958, going from memory on that. The uh, engines give it a lot of thrust, but on top of that, you can actually outfit a rocket pod underneath the center line. With that rocket pod, you get 80 seconds of basically boosted uh, uh, boosted um, thrust to get you moving in a hurry. However, that does mean there will be uh, ordnance uh, loadouts, loadouts that you cannot take if you go for that route. Uh, you can can't take it with any of the ground attack ordnance, but if you take uh, sidewinders or other air-to-air -air missiles, that should be allowed to be added to it, and it's and basically its interceptor package. This is a highly anticipated aircraft. There have been a lot of people asking for it. It's gotten to the point where it's become a meme to ask for it repeatedly. In fact, a lot of the comments on the on the dev blog are literally so. Uh, when are we getting the Mirage? Is it coming this next patch? Yes or no? That's pretty hilarious. Anyway, this should be a really good uh, aircraft. Uh, good agility. Has a very limited ammunition load of 125 rounds per barrel. So that's 250 rounds. You can burn through that in under 6 seconds of continuous fire. You're going to need to hold your, uh, keep your trigger discipline real careful there so that you can make sure you take off bite-sized chunks of the enemy instead of them taking bite-sized chunks off of you. So make sure you're keeping track of your ammunition when you're in that dogfights, but you've got a vast array of weaponry to, to attach, so be prepared to uh, bring AAMs. And the the actually new to the game R550 Magic is coming. So even better, you've got uh, access to 68 snebs, uh, 250 and 400 kilogram bombs, and the AS30 AGM. So you've got guided uh, ground missiles, you've got uh, unguided rockets, you've got R550 Magics. It should have a tremendous amount of versatility. This is going to be basically the uh, all multi-purpose aircraft for the French top end uh, air tree. All right, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.